Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can write your own code instead of using I am erode and I am dilate to, to get the erosion and dilation operation in MATLAB, okay? Because always instead of using built-in function, if you write your own code, the feeling of the algorithm will be more intense, okay? So let us directly go to erosion first. So erosion is a morphological operation whose effect is to shrink or thin objects in a binary image. The direction and extent of this thinning is controlled by the shape and size of the structuring element. As you know that if you change the shape instead of using square structuring element, if you use disk structuring element or if you use diamond structuring element, you will be getting some other output in case of erosion. Okay. If you change the size, that is uh, you once you erode you know, with respect to three cross three square structuring element another time you use uh, five cross five uh, square structuring element for erosion you will be getting different different result same goes for dilation dilation also depends on shape and size of the structuring element but instead of thinning in case of dilation you will be getting thick output okay object will become thicker and by object i mean to say the white part okay because white we perform morphological operation in image, we take white part as object and background as black part. That is one as white and zero as black. That is one as object, zero as background. Okay. Now, let us directly check how we can apply erosion in this particular beautiful matrix. Suppose this is my original image. This is the square structuring element and this is my output. We will derive how we are getting the output. So what we will do, we will consider this like simple convolutional mask or kernel or you can say in terms of morphological operation, this is our structuring element. Now we will start traversing from this particular corner, we will move this side and downward direction this side, okay. So you can avoid the boundaries because if you consider boundaries, uh, this corner suppose, so each time while applying structuring element, the center of the structuring element, you have to consider that the pixel, okay. So here your structuring element, if you consider 3 cross 3 structuring element, then it will come like this, right. So as a result, what will happen, see this particular part and this particular part for the original image, we are getting no value. So, in this case, you can avoid the boundaries or another way you can do that pad zeros in the boundary part, okay, and then apply the morphological operation in the boundaries also. So, for the time being, for the simplicity purpose, I am avoiding the boundary. So, we will start from this column and we will go up to this column and for row operation, we will start from this row and we will go up to this row. So, as a result, what I mean to say, we will consider this part for our morphological erosion. Okay. All right. Now, let us consider how we are getting this output step by step. So, let me just remove these things. So, what is erosion? What I have told you in the intuition of the erosion part that if your structuring element completely fits in your image part or object part then in that case you will make that as one and if your structuring element is not fitting then then in that case you remove or shrink that means make that pixel as zero that means that will no longer be object that will be background okay because black is background in morphological operation right now see can you tell me where this particular structuring element will fit in our whole image if we uh, just uh, simply slide as I have shown you from left to right and top to bottom. Quite simple that one structuring element will fit here and another time structuring element will fit here also. Okay. So as a result, the central pixel for this structuring part is this one and the central pixel for this part is this one. So only these two pixels will be one and rest all these ones will be zero and the background is remaining zero so that will be obviously zero so that we are getting this kind of output where only this one and this one are basically one and rest all are made to zero or background due to application of erosion 
Now you may think, okay, we know this already. We know we have studied this in theory of erosion. Now how to implement this algorithm in MATLAB? That's what I am going to discuss. Remember what I am going to discuss. This particular algorithm is applicable for square structuring element. If you are using diamond structuring element like this shape, I, as I have discussed earlier, or disc structuring element, then you need to apply some other approach. Okay, you just have to think logically. Okay, so I am discussing for square structuring element because most of in most of the operation we use square structuring element, right? So what we can do? Suppose during traversal from left to right and top to bottom, we have encountered a situation. Where our three cross three object size is this one, and remember, obviously, in morphological operation, whatever is your original structuring element size, that same size object you have to consider for your morphological operation. That is, as our structuring element is three cross three, so we are considering object uh, segment of three cross three only. Now, see, you can clearly tell me that this particular object segment is not fitting in our structuring element properly because in this object se segment the first column and first row is zero whereas in case of our structuring element all the elements are one okay so as it is not fitting so what we will be doing we will be replacing the central pixel by zero okay this is very very important that means we are converting that from object to background because when it was one that means that was white that means object but we are converting to zero that means that will become background now how to conclude this one whether the structuring element is fitting whether the square structuring element is fitting in our object segment or not see very simple what you do you perform element by element multiplication okay so how it will look suppose i am having one array and as object segment is of 3 cross 3 size and our structuring element is also 3 cross 3 size so obviously if you do element by element multiplication you will be having total element as 9 because 3 cross 3 matrix has total element 9 right so multiply element by element first element with the first structuring element 0 into 1 so 0 then 0 into this one so 0 then this 0 and this one so you will be having 0 then this 0 and this one you will be having 0 then this one and this one you will be having 1 okay this one and this one you will be having output as 1 right this 0 this one you will be having output as 0 right this one this one one and this one multiplied with this one will become one okay so one one now from this output of element by element multiplication you have to take decision whether this central pixel you have to place zero or one and how you can do that see very simple for square structuring element if after ele performing element by element multiplication if any of the element present in the array is zero that means your object segment is not fitting in the structuring element because see only possible input is zero or one okay because this we are considering in binary now in the structuring element there is no zero so if zero appears somewhere in the multiplication result then obviously it is due to presence of zero in the object segment in our original image and that means somewhere zero is present in that particular object segment and that means the object segment is not fitting in our structuring element somewhere it will differ somewhere in the object segment there is presence of zero so as a result simply we will convert that to that central pixel to zero that's all now how to get uh, whether zero is present in the multiplication result array or not very simple calculate the mean value because when you have two elements only 0 and 1 by any combination if you multiply you will be getting output either 0 or 1 so minimum value after multiplication if it comes 0 that means the structuring element square structuring element is not fitting in our object segment so you replace the central pixel by 0 and if the minimum value also appearing as 1 that means all the elements in your object segment is 1 that's why after performing element by element multiplication the minimum value also you are getting as 1 that means all the elements are 1 then in that case you replace your central pixel by 1 
and that's all in this way you will be having your erosion result in matlab and after performing the complete uh, erosion in the whole image only this particular one and this particular one will fit so we will be having this two result now same concept is applicable for dilation just in the reverse way so this is what about erosion now let's go to dilation which is reverse thing of erosion suppose i am having this structuring element and same object as our image input image so in the output we will be having expanded version okay that is it, the object will become thicker so how you can do in this case see very simple let us consider suppose our object segment while traversing in our image input image is this one okay all zeros only this particular right bottom corner is one and our structuring element is this one what you do you perform element by element multiplication so what you will be getting first row 0 0 0 second row also 0 0 0 3 row 0 0 1 okay now see what i have told you while discussing the intuition of dilation that if it is not fitting replace place there one okay so as in this case the structuring element is not fitting in our object segment okay but at least one corner is matching okay which is reflected in our element by element multiplication also at least one element we are getting so we will be replacing the central pixel by one okay so as a result we are getting here one so how you can do that simple after performing element by element multiplication you take the maximum value of the array okay because maximum is one so here we can replace that right so in case of dilation you take the maximum in case of erosion you take the minimum okay that's all for the intuition let us directly go to matlab and check whether this intuition is working in our coding or not so clc clear all close all first i am taking one image okay converting that to binary image let me show you that image okay so this is one image which is noisy that is uh, salt noise is present and our original structure is j and you know that erosion removes this kind of salt noise right so let us check whether we can achieve that or not so rc equal to size of a we are taking our structuring element as of 3 cross 3 square matrix as we have taken in our theoretical discussion also take output matrix as one empty this is this will be our output image and then what we are doing for x equal to 2 colon 1 colon r minus 1 as i have told you neglect the first and last row first and last column for traversal i have done that and then i am storing the element by element multiplication result in one array g okay so w of 1 multiplied by a of x minus 1 y of y minus 1 w of 2 multiplied by a of x minus 1 y w of 3 multiplied by x of a of x minus 1 y plus 1 that is all the three cross three elements x minus 1 y minus 1 x minus 1 y x minus 1 y plus 1 x y minus 1 x y which is the central pixel element then x y plus 1 then x plus 1 y minus 1 x plus 1 y x plus 1 y plus 1 like that okay end required and what we are doing this is the main line uh, output of x comma y equal to mean of g for erosion as i have told you take the minimum of the element by element multiplication result and show that output so what we should get as expected output the noise should be removed and as you can see if this is our original image where the noise is removed in the output image same code will be posted in the description box and for dilation purpose same code just instead of mean write max that's all okay now what we should get the noise will not be removed it will become more okay and the j structure will also become thicker because dilation Uh, expands the image okay and as you can see our object is become thicker and also the noise salt noise which was present in our image also become more okay so this is what about erosion and dilation code in matlab without using any built in function i hope you have understood this this particular logic is applicable only for square structuring element you can make your own logic for disk structuring element or diamond structuring element also thank you for watching